Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many iOS developers encounter when working with CloudKit. Our viewer is building an app that needs to subscribe to record changes in the public database of iCloud. However, they hit a roadblock when they discovered that all initialization methods for CK subscription are deprecated. This has left them confused, especially since Apple's own documentation still references these outdated methods. So, how can they effectively initialize a CK subscription and ensure their app receives updates when new records appear? Let's dive into this challenge and explore the best solutions together. All right, guys, we're back with another technical question. I'll be going through the question, the answer, and I'm hoping, just like me, you stay a little bit crazy to get that answer all the way through. Guys, let's get started. To initialize a CK subscription in iOS 10.3, we first need to understand that the previous initialization methods are deprecated. Instead, we will use the new approach provided by CloudKit. Start by importing the CloudKit framework into your project. This is essential for accessing CloudKit functionalities. Next, create a CK Query subscription. This is the new way to subscribe to changes in your public database. You will need to specify the record type and the query you want to monitor. After creating the subscription, you need to define a notification. This can be done using CK Notification Info, where you can customize the alert message and other notification settings. Finally, save the subscription to the public database. This will activate the subscription and allow your app to receive notifications when records of the specified type are created. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. To initialize a CK subscription in iOS 10.3, use CK Query Subscription instead. It has similar initializers to CK Subscription. And that's it, guys. I hope you found the answer that you're looking for and got to that resolution in the end. If you did, please take a moment, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. Until the next time you need more technical videos, I hope you have a great day. Cheers.